You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Laws 30 of 2018 for the issuance of the Law of Protection of Personal Particulars and Law 31 of 2018 for the issuance of the Law of Encouragement and Protection of Competitiveness after their approval from the Shura and Representative Councils. Law 30 of 2018 stipulated the protection of personal particulars associated with this law without violating any of the rights prescribed under international agreements and conventions applicable in the Kingdom. The Authority of Protection of Personal Particulars Board of Directors has been tasked to issue the necessary decisions for the implementation of this law within a maximum of six months from the date of its publication in the official gazette. Law 31 of 2018 stipulated the issuance of law for encouragement and protection of competitiveness associated with this law without violating any of the following. Any authority prescribed under the provisions of any other law in the interest of any of the state's agencies regarding setting the rates, preventing monopoly, or taking any measures to ensure availability of products. Any rights prescribed in the interest of any person defined under a relevant law. The practice of economic activity in the manner that does not hamper competitiveness ensured to all in accordance with the provision of the law. The provisions that protect and encourage competitiveness and economic activities will continue to be applicable, excluding any arrangements that might be obstructive or contrary to the provisions of this law and stated in applicable laws at the time of effectiveness of this law. A decree will be issued to define the administrative body which will assume the duties and powers prescribed for the authority under the provisions of the associated law until the financial allocation is made in the state's general budget budget and issuance of a decree for the formation of the board of directors. Such decree will define who in the administrative body will assume the duties and powers prescribed in the associated law regarding the board of directors, board chairman and executive president. This law becomes effective six months after the date of its publication in the official gazette, except the clauses of chapter two, which become effective from the first day of the month following the date of its publication. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today the Minister of External Affairs of India, Sushma Swaraj, on the occasion of her visit to the Kingdom to attend the second Bahrain India High Joint Commission meeting. She conveyed the greetings of the President of India, Ram Nath Kovind, and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom. His Majesty asked Minister Swaraj to convey his greetings to the Indian President and Prime Minister and wishes of further progress and prosperity to the people of India. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's pride in its deep rooted historic relations with India, which were characterized over centuries by mutual respect, understanding and cooperation. His Majesty hailed the positive results of the first Bahrain-India High Joint Commission meeting, including signing a number of agreements which will play a substantial role on consolidating cooperation in the fields of politics, economy, commerce and investment. He congratulated the Minister on the opening of the new embassy building in the Kingdom, affirming that the Bahrain-Indian relations will remain a model of deep-rooted friendship and productive cooperation in light of the two countries' economies and human resources as well as continuous coordination which pushes development forward. His Majesty hailed the constructive contributions of the Indian community to the progress of Bahrain, noting the pivotal role and contributions of India and Asia and the world in maintaining global security and stability. For her part, Minister Swaraj expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome she has received and for the support the Indian community receives in the Kingdom. She noted his role and efforts in strengthening bilateral relations, hailing the results of her visit to the Kingdom and affirming her country's keenness on further boss friendly relations and cooperation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued three edicts for this year. Edict 20 restructures the Board of Directors of the Housing Bank with the Chairmanship of the Minister of Housing and the membership of the following. Mohammed Abdurrahman Bachiri as Deputy Chairman, Yusuf Abdullah Taghi as, as Member, Dr. Zakaria Sultan Al Abbasi as Member, Riyad Saleh Al Sa'i as Member, Najla Mohammed Al Shirawi as a Member, Rana Ibrahim Faqihi as a Member, Kamal Murad Ali Murad as a Member, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The membership of the Board will be three renewable years. Edict 21 appoints Adnan Mohammed Hashim Asada as Director of Social and Community Affairs Programs at the Governorate of Muharraq. The Minister of Interior is to implement the decree which is to become effective on the day of its issuance and is to be issued in the official gazette. Edict number 22 appoints Saad Mbarak Saad Mbarak as Director of the Policy and Regulatory Affairs Directorate at the Civil Services Bureau. The President of the Civil Services Bureau is to implement the decree which is to become effective on the day of its issuance and is to be issued in the official gazette. 
His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace the Sudanese ambassador to Bahrain, Ibrahim Hamid Al Hassan. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction with the Bahraini Sudanese relations and their development in various fields, which reflects their deep rooted ties. His Royal Highness affirmed the kingdom's keenness on developing cooperation with Sudan in various domains, especially the economy, commerce, and investment, to fulfill joint aspirations and interests. He noted the importance of benefiting from bilateral relations to develop cooperation in the fields of agriculture, food safety, and livestock. The Sudan Sudanese ambassador briefed His Royal Highness on the developments in Sudan. His Royal Highness hailed the efforts of the Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir in maintaining safety and stability and promoting development in Sudan. For his part, the ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his interest in developing bilateral relations, noting the keenness of his country to strengthen cooperation for the interests of the two nations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace the Minister of External Affairs of India, Sushma Swaraj. He affirmed the success of the Bahraini Indian relations is based on a long history of joint cooperation at the economic and commercial levels. He noted that exchanging visits bolsters cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries' governments. His Royal Highness noted the role of the Indian community in the development of the world and of Bahrain, praising the expertise of India at all levels, which paves the way towards widening the horizons of bilateral cooperation. He expressed pleasure with the course of Bahraini-Indian relations, underscoring their development at all levels. He stated that increased cooperation was a result of the number of bilateral agreements signed by the two countries, aimed at benefiting both countries and their people. He affirmed the strength of the deep-rooted historic relations, which consolidated strategic partnership in all fields, stating that it has served in achieving the economic interests and goals of maintaining security and stability for both countries. A number of regional and international developments were discussed during the meeting. Minister Swaraj noted the development of the kingdom at all levels thanks to the successful policies of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. She expressed her country's thanks and appreciation for the government's efforts in supporting the Indian community and in preparing an adequate and stimulating legislative environment that guarantees the rights of Indian workers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today at Rafah Palace, the Minister of External Affairs for the Republic of India, Sushma Suraj. Bahrain's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the meeting. His Royal Highness and her His Royal Highness and Minister Suraj noted the strength of long-standing bilateral ties between Bahrain and India. They highlighted the important role played by the Bahraini India Joint Commission in broadening cooperation between both countries. They went on to discuss regional 
on international issues of common interest, including joint efforts to support peace and prosperity on the global level. His Royal concluded by extending his congratulations to the Minister of External Affairs on the opening of the new Indian Embassy building, which he noted reflects both countries' commitment to advancing bilateral ties. For her part, Minister Swaraj expressed her gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted the important role he plays in strengthening bilateral ties across various fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception held by the Embassy of France to Bahrain marking Bastille Day. The Foreign Minister offered sincere congratulations to the Republic of France and its friendly people and expressed the Kingdom's pride in the distinguished historical relations with France and its development at all levels. He also underlined Bahrain's keen desire to boost aspects of joint cooperation for the interests of the two countries and the friendly people wishing France continued progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with India's Minister of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, who is on an official visit to the kingdom. The minister praised the developing strong historic relations between Bahrain and India, which reflect the keenness of the two countries to optimize all opportunities of joint cooperation to achieve mutual interests. Minister Swaraj expressed sincere thanks and appreciation for the hospitality she has received in the kingdom, which reflects the strength of the friendly relations between Bahrain and India in various fields. She also wished Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The second meeting of the Bahraini Indian High Joint Commission was held under the chairmanship of the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his Indian counterpart. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the strength of the historic relations between the two countries resulted in bringing their people together. He added that the visits of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to India resulted in finding new areas for joint cooperation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the contributions of the Indian community to the progress and development of Bahrain and the strengthening of bilateral relations. He praised the mutual support between the two countries in all fields, highlighting the role of India in promoting common interests in security, peace and development at both the regional and international levels. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the Kingdom places great importance on the agreements and memoranda of understanding signed on joint cooperation, adding that the second meeting of the Bahraini Indian High Joint Commission will have positive outcomes in various fields. For her part, Minister Swaraj asserted that the Indian government's keenness to strengthen relations with Bahrain, noting the constant development of these relations in the fields of trade, the economy, culture and social communication. The Minister of External Affairs of India lauded the high level of support provided to the Indian community in Bahrain and expressed hope to further develop all ties with the Kingdom for the benefit of the two countries and their friendly people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and his Indian counterpart signed an agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of India on the exemption of visa requirements for diplomatic and private passport holders, a memorandum of understanding between the government of Bahrain and the Government of India on cooperation in the field of renewable energy and a memorandum of understanding between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of India on cooperation in the field of healthcare. The second meeting of the Bahraini Indian High Joint Commission issued a statement condemning terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. The two sides also agreed to work together in the field of space technology and discussed cooperation between the Bahraini National Space Science Agency and the Indian Space Research Organization to benefit from the Indian expertise in the operation and launch of satellites and other space areas. It was agreed to hold the third meeting of the Bahraini Indian High Commission in New Delhi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of External Affairs of India, Sushma Swaraj, visited the Isa Cultural Center as part of the Indian Minister's visit to the Kingdom. Swaraj expressed pleasure in visiting the cultural edifice and outstanding project, hailing the efforts of its organizers. She expressed appreciation for the center's role in highlighting Bahraini culture and consolidating cultural communication between Bahrain and various countries. She presented a number of books and publications on the history and culture of India as a gift to the Isa Cultural Center, expressing India's pride in the deep relations and cultural communication between the two countries and their keenness to strengthen bilateral relations in all fields. The center is deputy chairman of board of trustees and its executive director Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation for the visit of the Indian Minister of External Affairs and affirmed the importance of supporting bilateral relations and reviewed the kingdom's role in the march of tolerance and its reflection on the Indian community and its integration and coexistence with the Bahraini society. He also noted that the Indian community is celebrating the second centennial of the construction of the Hindu temple in Manama. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended yesterday evening the inauguration ceremony of the new premises of the Indian Embassy in Bahrain. The premises was inaugurated by the Indian Minister of External Affairs, Sushma Swaraj, in the presence of the Minister of Forks, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam Khalaf. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the inauguration of the new Indian Embassy complex in Manama reflects the depth of the friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India, noting both countries' constant progress and keenness to expand these relations and enhance cooperation and joint work in order to benefit both countries and their people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also expressed sincere congratulations to Sushma Swaraj and the Indian diplomats and community in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the inauguration of the new embassy complex in Manama, wishing the Republic of India further progress and prosperity. For her part, Swaraj expressed her pleasure to be present in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the inauguration of the new Indian embassy complex, which reflects the historical and cultural ties between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India, stressing that this step will contribute to strengthening relations between the two friendly countries and people. The Indian ambassador, Alok Komar Sinha, expressed his thanks and appreciation for the efforts made that resulted in the inauguration of the new embassy complex, stressing the strength of the bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India in various fields. The inauguration of the new Indian embassy complex, built on 7,598 square meters of land, bought by the Indian government in 2005, comprised of two buildings, the main two-floor custom-built chancery building and a four-story residential building, aims to further strengthen the already existing strong cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people contacts between the two friendly countries and an embodiment of historical civilizational connects and the culmination of the aspirations of growing Indian expatriate community in Bahrain. We're so honored to have Her Excellency Sushma Swaraj, the External Affairs Minister, visit us for the third time to Bahrain since she assumed her post. And this is an honor for us and it's a testament that the relations between Bahrain and India are at a very, very high level and it's going up and up again. To celebrate such understanding and cultural affinity, a cultural program has been created to interpret this friendly relationship through the eyes of Bahrainis and Indians. In the journey of our diplomatic relations with Bahrain, the opening of the new embassy, which would meet the requirements of increasing requirement of our expanding bilateral relations in all spheres, as well as the presence of a large Indian community, most more effectively. It is a very important moment in our diplomatic journey, in our diplomatic relations uh, with Bahrain. Bahraini-Indian bilateral political, economic and cultural relations go back generations. Bilateral trade and commercial exchanges go back to about 5,000 years ago, tracing their origins to the period of Dilmun civilization in Bahrain, to the era of Indus Valley civilization in India. Now India has the largest expat community in Bahrain, forming nearly one-fourth of Bahrain's population and its fifth largest trading partner. Certainly a glorious past and a dynamic present. The Joint Government Parliamentary Committee to discuss the pension laws amendments held at second meeting at the Council of Representatives where the government signed was chaired by the Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the legislative authority was chaired by a parliamentary delegation led by First Deputy Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ali Abdullah Al Aradi, and a delegation from the Shura Council led by First Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Mohammed Fakhro. The Minister of Finance stressed that the royal directives to develop the kingdom's pension system preserves the citizens' rights and aims to achieve balance and justice in benefiting from insurance benefits. He Affirmed the government's keenness on continuing the social insurance system to provide a decent living for all citizens. Al Aradi affirmed that ensuring justice to all participants to pension and insurance funds is the priority of the committee, in addition to preserving the rights of participants and avoiding the duplication of benefits of some participants at the expense of others. He added that the committee works towards the development of retirement benefits and supports the continuity of the fund, noting that it discusses amendments to the laws in force. Fakhro noted that any consensus on the proposed reforms should lead to ensuring the sustainability of the pension and insurance funds in light of the current and future challenges. 
Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to meet the needs of the citizens and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to implement the work plan of the government, the Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar affirmed that the ministry will continue to distribute 2,800 housing units of Salman Town's islands 13 and 14. The minister stated that the distribution process will continue until 3,000 units out of 5,000 are distributed by the end of August upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He affirmed that Salman Town's housing project is one of the main projects included in the plan to build 25,000 housing units listed in the government's work program. al Hamad noted that the ministry will intensify work to increase the completion rate of units and infrastructure according to the allocated budget in order to enable the ministry to increase the number of beneficiaries. al Hamad added that Salman Town will be a substantial addition to the ministry's achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The British government expressed support to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika Global Award for Women Empowerment. British Ambassador of State for the Middle East, Alistair Bird, expressed the stance stressing his country's readiness to promote the award in the United Kingdom and its overseas territories. In a letter addressed to Bahraini Ambassador to London, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, he expressed the hope that British candidates would win the first edition of the prize. Public and private sector establishments, civil society institutions, and individuals will have until the 31st of August to submit their applications. British Minister of State for the Middle East, Alastair Burt, expressed the importance of the award, which he said reflect the country's commitment to empower women and promote equal opportunities between men and women in all fields.